is not always as happy or as easy as the image that people want to portray. I think as a child, I realized that I had to make my own family, and it was absolutely out of self-preservation. I think I was aware that our family was different very early because my mother did make sure that she told us that we are not traditional and we're a different type of family. Different was considered good. My parents had probably what was called in the 1970s an open marriage. Uh, my father wasn't there that much. My mother wasn't there sometimes, and my grandmother usually picked up the slack. As far back as I can remember, my mother was involved with somebody. My mother wasn't only influenced by the LGBT movement of the 70s. For her, the influence started probably in the late 50s in France. She had gone to the Sorbonne, so she had a very odd blending of high culture with LGBT ideas and attitudes, and that very much dominated her outlook on things. There wasn't an emphasis on love or family. I think that my mother wanted things that came with a marriage, things that make life easier. She didn't necessarily want a marriage. My father was in and out of the house. He probably withdrew completely, maybe when I was 11. If I was old enough, I would have left too. I mean, it was the only sane thing to do. I didn't have an idea of family as a functioning unit until I was out of the house. My mother never cooked a thing. I mean, literally, she never cooked a thing. There was no food in the house. If I would have said anything like, gee, there's nothing to eat, I would have been considered the most demanding child on the planet. When I was in third grade, I got sent home from school. They wouldn't keep me at school because I weighed 30 pounds. I was lost in the shuffle, but I didn't want to be found. And I basically tried to move myself away from that as quickly and as far as I possibly could. I didn't really see any other families, so it was really, really late that I discovered this is not the way things go. And I would say that would be when I went into foster care at about 14 or 15. And it was a great foster care, it was amazing. It was there that I saw, you know, a mother and a father and how they made dinner and things like that. They were just normal. <laughs> When I was living with the foster family and I saw meals being prepared, it was bonding, it was democracy, it was all those things. So it became to me the organizing principle of a family. I think as a child who was raised by my mother and her partners, I would probably say it's not a good idea. Unless you grew up in a same-sex relationship and in the gay community, you don't know. I see myself as sort of going out there and saying to kids when they come out, which they will, and say, why didn't anybody say anything? Why did you think this would work. And I'm just there to say, not everybody did. There was a group of us and we came forward at great personal risk and great personal sacrifice and we said, we know. I had to do it just because of the kids. 
because I know there is going to be a lot more kids in that situation and it is really hard for me to explain it to anybody, never mind a little kid and it doesn't have to be that way.